what's up everyone? Riles here, Gunner here. And Gunner has officially deemed the couch is hot lava. He will not go on it anymore. Fun fact, we bought this kind of RV so we would have a couch for him, but he has refused to sit on the couch. He seatbelted in the same way he would be, but um, just refuses to actually sit on the couch. Atlanta this morning on our way to Nashville, Tennessee. We're going to stop in Chattanooga to do check out Rock City Gardens, a real cool workout where you can see seven different states. We stopped at Bucky's. I'm now an official walking billboard for advertisement for them. Place is awesome. If you haven't stopped there yet, do yourself a favor and stop there if you ever see one. All right, we're here at Bucky's. Riley is taking advantage of the long handled squeegee to wipe off all the <laughs> dead bugs we've collected. We've got the dogs, we're right by a pole, so we've leaded them up just to give them some leg room. They had my color and hat, couldn't find a t-shirt, might have to go back in. That place is insane. The saw up Atlanta, awesome, awesome, cool city. Very, Love very it. culturally diverse, diverse people. Really interesting art. Got to meet up with my good friend, Dr. C. He was a great, great tour guide. Unfortunately, our, our stay was a little bit short, but we didn't book probably enough time. I think we wish we stayed a little bit longer. I was blown away. Like I know that Atlanta is like a big city and a lot of history there, but there's so many different lenses you can look at the city through. We got to go to some different markets and shops, try out some different food. It was an amazing experience overall. Off to Nashville, we're making a stop at Rock City Gardens. So it's a little bit cloudy. We hope visibility will be good for us. Gunner, you're Rock City Gardens, buddy. Oh, I got this. Wallace. This kind of reminds me of uh, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, going through the Lost Woods. All we need is Navi going, hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey, listen. So I couldn't get a video while we are walking through it because Keelan was freaking out. But you see that little sliver, it's a little claustrophobia. Claustrophobia is paradise. We, she survived though. She made it through. It was tough. The people behind us gave us some nice encouragement and made Caitlin step out of her comfort zone. Because again, that's what RV life's all about. Adventures, taking it in stride and doing things you've never done before. Isn't that right, honey? That's, that's the motto. See for miles and miles. Lover's leap. Being in love with her makes me want to leap off that mountain. Seven states. Except we can't really see them because it's raining. Fat man squeeze. So it's between our dogs pulling us and us slipping and breaking our tailbones or Caitlin having a Anxiety, pain, panic attack, through claustrophobia. Sure. Fat man squeeze might be our toughest test yet. Since I've been doing these fast food reviews, fat man squeeze might be kind of applicable to me. Oh God. You're killing it, Caitlin. Wallace, come on. You can do it, Caitlin. You want to hear anxiety, Wallace, come on. We're dragging us out of here. Wallace. <laughs> Oh my God. You made it. Oh. Just made it through Rock City Gardens. I stopped for a little wine tasting. No wine for you, sir. Neither of us have been to Nashville. We are excited to see what that city has to offer. Every time we go to some place, we learn something or kind of like refine our process. Planning ahead versus just kind of going with the flow. It's difficult with campground availability. You kind of do have to plan ahead a little bit. I think the last few places we've been, we either want to stay longer or shorter and you already have it booked and then you have the next place booked. So you're kind of forced to leave and head out. So I think when I first started this RV stuff and we talked about this traveling across the country, 
we want to go at our own pace and we are, but the flexibility hasn't been here, there yet. And I think we're going to try to refine our process and not book far ahead. Yeah, we're kind of fighting crowds too. Right now we're getting to like Memorial Day where people are traveling a lot more. I think we feel much more comfortable with like the dogs and how they manage settling in the RV by themselves. We have the next two locations booked already to Memorial Day, but from there on forward, I think we're going to try just winging it a little bit. We'll see how that goes. Could be a bad mistake, but you don't know if you don't try. And that's kind of the point of this whole adventure. Step outside of the comfort zone, do things you're uncomfortable with, see things you've never seen before, and we'll learn a lot along the way. I guess we'll see y'all in uh, Tennessee. Night one in Nashville. We are super excited. We love our spot, easy setup. We were gonna lay low tonight and just have a bottle of wine at the RV, but we found out there's a shuttle service that will literally come right to our doorstep and pick us up for $10 and will take us right to Broadway. So we're hopping on that shuttle and we're gonna go check out the sights downtown. Clearly he's excited. <laughs> Good morning, beautiful people. Sunday morning on Nashville. Just spent our first night here. We went downtown last night, had a blast. Nashville downtown scene's a lot of fun. And the reason why I'm kind of sitting awkwardly is because I can't move my hand right now. But yeah, we're about to, uh, Caitlin's taking a shower. We're gonna take the downtown shuttle, grab some brunch continue on with the fun of last night. Looking forward to it. So I ordered the uh, Diner Delight and the bartender informed me that this uh, particular cocktail has more alcohol than all the other ones. So I chose right. Do your best bachelorette party. Close. Nashville. Oh, wow. We're at uh, Jack's Barbecue, Nashville. This place supposedly has great gluten-free celiac precautions. We go through a lot of research to find places that are celiac and can like cater to her needs. But then when it comes time to ordering, it's so awkward. Hi, I have celiac, so I was hoping to be able to make sure everything's gluten-free. Okay, perfect. Well, I'm gonna do um, the pork shoulder. Happy Sunday, Sunday. I fucking love Bob Ritchie, baby. I know. Bob Ritchie. Bob with the Bob. Let's get some Bob with the Bob. So All right, it is a beautiful Tuesday. Tonight we got tickets to go to the Grand Old Opry. Wow, in Nashville, the birthplace of country music. Now we went to the, the backstage grill. We got a couple drinks. We actually didn't think they had gluten-free options, but they gave us they some did. shrimp and grits. It was very, very good. Service could have been a little bit better, but hey. That's okay. Take them as they We're come. for the good times, not All the right. best times. So let's go rock out to some country music. Yeah. So when I originally bought the tickets for tonight, I was feeling pretty good and I uh, added some merchandise as a pre-order sale. I kind of forgot what I got until I got in here. I picked this bad boy up. I'm Bobby Bones. Everybody good? Yeah. Welcome to Opry Live. Tonight we're honoring all of our military personnel. Just got out of the Grand Old Opry, had a beautiful- Had a time of my life. Time of my life. Great show. The, kind of the coolest part about this, honestly, is that we just stashed our bikes and locked them on up. When you're sitting in an RV park, it's only 1.8 miles from the Grand oh, Old Opry. Follow me, the right here. Saw right home. Just got back from the Grand Old Opry. The dogs are excited to see us. 
let's see what they think of this guy right here. All right, last night here in Nashville, we are laying low, had enough of Kid Rock's bar downtown, getting ready for dinner. And in case you are wondering, here's how we cook dinner. Um, we have a Blackstone grill, but we also have a sous vide and an Instapot. So tonight we're having chicken and some rice and some veggies. Super easy, cooking outside. I gotta show you guys something sick. So come with me this way. So this is Smashville. And what you need to remember is don't forget to smash that like button and smash that subscribe button. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.